husband came for her. I was already in a cop car, and he said, he said to one of the officers, I'll take that one. Came and took me out of the cop car, and that's when he proceeded to walk me down the street. It was, she claims, a terrifying walk. He was throwing me around. He was shoving me. He was pulling my hair. He slammed me on the ground with all his body weight. He pulled my pants down. He pushed me up against the car. At that point, the police report says that Sergeant Cottrell arrives and observes that Natasha's pants are down. Officer Cottrell came and physically took me away from him and pulled my pants up and placed me. He told me to sit in the car to calm down. I felt like he was going to rape me if that other officer didn't show up. And who was this Ogden officer who she says so horribly treated her? It was none other than Kenneth Hammond. You remember, though off-duty, his fire pinned down the attacker and prevented more people from being killed in the trolley square shooting. He's a decorated hero. That status doesn't give you the right to abuse arrestees in violation of the Fourth Amendment. It doesn't give you that right. Civil rights attorney Robert Sykes filed the federal suit. Arresting somebody doesn't give you license to abuse them. Now, Natasha Child was charged with interfering with an arrest, disorderly conduct, and public intoxication, although no uh, breathalyzer test was ever administered. Eventually, a judge dismissed all charges. Now, tonight, an Ogden police spokesman says that he hasn't seen the lawsuit and therefore cannot comment. The suit also names Police Chief John Greiner. As for Officer Hammond, he is on paid administrative leave while another apparently unrelated incident is investigated. Of course, we will continue to follow this lawsuit. We'll let you know what happens. So there's actually more than one allegation against Officer Hammond. Apparently, we, the, the police won't give us the details of this other allegation that he's on paid administrative leave for now. But we can only assume that it's a different incident because allegedly it happened in 2005. This one happened in 2008. All right. Thank you very much, Brent.